Hello YouTube, we're Anna May Kay. After our epic Game of Thrones recap, people asked us if we could do the Marvel films up until the Age of Ultron. We're going to give it a try. Now it's time for Iron Man 3. Tony's in the basement suffering from PTSD. All over the country, folks are exploding. Caused by a bad guy called the Mandarin Tony's ex-girlfriend turns up and she's not happy The Mandarin attacks and blows his house in the sea Tony Stark escapes despite their intentions He teams up with a kid who's got loads of inventions He discovers a conspiracy called extremists Creating super soldiers, it's totally bogus Even worse, the cover story is thin it leads straight to the bad guy, the Mandarin Following the leads all the way to Miami Stark finds out the Mandarin is actually Gandhi The real Mandarin is head of AIM Planning to murder the president on his plane Stark and Rhodey move to confront AIM Freeing the president and Pepper is their game Tony attacks with Iron Man by the dozen But the extremist soldiers, they won't let this stop them It's not until Pepper shows she's the best And punches a hole in the Mandarin's chest Now Iron Man 3 comes the end of its tale Tony Stark's therapy was an epic fail It's the Avengers from Jack and Stan, the Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, and Black Widow, too, from the House of Ideas. It's the MCU. The world must be defended. If they can't save the world, they'll damn well avenge it. Ben Loki's plans to weak his shot is one. The Hulk makes him look like a puny god. Against in the waves of attacking Chitauri, the Avengers make out like a six-man army.